Well, the greatest train that ever run down America's railroad track was the Orange Blossom Special, bringing my baby back. From New York to Miami, you could see them drivers roll. But the Orange Blossom Special don't stop Waldo anymore. Hey, everybody. It's Lydia, the Tally Stitcher, back with Floss Tube number 18 in a new spot. And we already... <laughs> have upset kitty number one this is Cora she's probably gonna jump away she doesn't like when I talk on the phone um, and you also might hear Giuseppe sitting next to me so welcome and welcome back um, if you're already a subscriber uh, this is a floss tube episode um, for cross stitch projects mostly um, I <laughs> Again, I'm here to confess that I have not been back for a month, which might be the more uh, doable schedule for me, um, it seems like. Uh, coming from a different portion of our living room, trying to see if I like the lighting better over here. <sighs> we can hear the cats grooming each other. Ah, it's a lot of time. Uh, it is Sunday, November 14th. Um, 2021 um it's in the evening uh i have a it's exciting because uh i have a finish to show you if you've been here for <laughs> if you've been watching my floss tubes for a little bit you will notice that most of the finishes are my husband's who is also a cross stitcher and he's also a knitter um we're a very crafty little bunch so I've got some stuff to show you. Um, I've got some haul, some whips, some revised plans, all sorts of stuff. So um, thanks again for tuning in. I'm not sure how long this is going to be. We'll see. I've got the things spread about me, but I can get a little chatty. Um, I reviewed <laughs> what my plans were last time we spoke. Um, some of them got done, or some of them got touched, and some of them did not. Um, even now that I think about it, I didn't grab something to show you, but it's going to be okay. I have the magic of technology to insert photos when I can't remember uh, to grab things. So uh, I guess we can go kind of in order of the stuff that I grab, which we'll do whips first. So works in progress. Um, these are projects that I've been working on. Some of them I planned, some of them I didn't. Um, last month was October, so a lot of people were doing Halloween stitching, including myself. I had planned to do, um, a new start a week, much like Mania. That did not happen, which is okay. Um, I released two free patterns that were kind of Halloween-y. One was more Halloween-y than the other. Um, the links for the free patterns will be down below. You can also find... The links um, if you uh, go to my buy me a coffee which is also going to be linked down below uh, all sorts of stuff so the first one I'll show you because I don't think I even have this on my Instagram was uh, something I designed specifically for this piece of fabric and this was um, uh, called haunting going going haunting boo haunting I'm not even sure what I called this Anyway, so this was a piece of fabric that was given to me um, when I ordered um, something else off of Etsy, and I will link that down below, the Etsy shop, and so this is a little freebie she gave me, and so I designed a small little uh, pumpkin patch to go on there with some little ghosties, and I wanted to try experimenting with the glow-in-the-dark threads that, um, I think these are, these are Krynik, so... Uh, I wanted to try experimenting with them, so I ordered an orange, a green, and the grapefruit just kind of is the, the, the white. Um, so the, the bat is done in 310, and as you can see from the pattern that I showed, uh, that would all be going around here, and then I wanted to start playing around with these. And I have not stitched with, um, I think any Krynik before, and the only thing comparable I think that I've stitched with in terms of like finicky flosses is uh, metallic in a Christmas uh, pattern that I have. 
as you can see from the progress, I did not enjoy stitching with this. For one, this is probably user error. Two of the colors that I purchased were actually blending filaments, which my husband pointed out. So I was like, all right, well, if they're blending filaments, then I will get the DMC that kind of goes with them and, and work them together, which is what I have done, I think, for most of these. But it still feels like stitching with fishing lines. So I didn't love that. I'm not sure if I want to do the whole piece as I uh, planned to in Glow in the Dark or if I just want to maybe pull this out and just do it all straight DMC. Who knows? Because what's probably going to happen is, you know, as I'm sitting here holding it, it's going to come out of its little hoop <laughs> and it's going to go away <laughs> until I get into a Halloween-y mood again. But that was a little tiny start um, of a pattern that I designed um, and for, for free, for fun, for experimentation purposes, and that's okay. I was also um, working on a book, a spell book from Hocus Pocus. The, the last time I showed you guys, I hadn't worked any more on it, so I didn't have any updates, but then I did pick it up a little bit more um, at some point in the last uh, month since it's been. So I wanted to show you that progress. Um, I can't remember um, even where I was stitching this, but I know that it got a little bit more um, stitching done on it. Excuse the loose threads. I do a very loose form of parking. Um, but I, I just remember, oh, I was inspired because the, it's either the classic stitcher or I'll have to, I'll have to link below. One of the folks that I follow on Instagram finished theirs and I was like, oh, I need to go back and just keep stitching on it. I love it so much. So they did theirs on, um, Kind of like a, it looks like like parchment that's been written on. It's not like, like kind of like those constitution ones that people do Lady the Flag on, but it was just, it just looked like parchment. So I was inspired to bring mine out again. And I can already tell that my particular camera setup here, I still don't love because the lighting on the actual cross stitching is, <sighs> leaves something to be desired. Anyway, let me see if I can see. That's getting close to the right color. This is uh, a gold Ada um, that I bought secondhand off of Mercari. Um, and they had it listed as toffee, which I think is what I refer to it as since then. But I wanted to, I did just a little bit more work on that um, before it'll go away um, for who knows how long. It seems like we all have our favorite holidays that we like to stitch and people to either tend to uh, go towards Christmas or Halloween so we shall see um, with that so that was in progress that was in progress some of these are like starts and in progresses because you hadn't seen the start but that's okay um, I also don't believe you'd seen an update on this one which is um, kindness is free by Teresa Kogut. It's a free pattern that she released. You guys are just going to get the idea of all this stuff because apparently, oh, here it goes. Nice. Thanks, camera. Um, <laughs> it's like white balance. We can do it. So this is a free pattern that she released and I was working on it um, with the intention of getting it uh, finished to hang up in my new office area. It's not there yet. I still need to add one more kitty. Um, I've already adapted it, changed it, wibble wobbled it um, to make the kitty look like uh, Giuseppe, the other one look like Cora, the birds I changed out, the dress I changed out, the little bottles I've changed. There's supposed to be some, you know, the Quaker um, stars. I, I was thinking I wasn't going to add those because then I wanted to frame it in this hoop, but now I'm like, oh, well, I can just keep adding it and just like fill up. I got so like ambitious when I was holding it. I was like, I could fill up this whole thing with all sorts of little Quaker motifs and just build upon it. So we shall see. I haven't touched this since I was noodling around with it, but I wanted y'all to see where that was. Um, 
the dress pattern is gorgeous, but it really takes time for me to, I have to really study it in order to get it right. So uh, we're almost there. You know, it's, it's like a couple more rows and then her little feet. Um, and then I'll add the other kitty and I'll see from there if I want to start just building out because I was like, oh, well, I would want it to be in this one hoop, but it's like, no, you can do more with it. So we'll see. So I worked on that. Kindness is free by Teresa Kogut. Um, very nice. So, uh, yeah, so I had plans to do, uh, to start Sleepy Hollow by Cricut Collection on Halloween. That didn't happen. I, um, had uh, a couple other starts, like the stretching portraits from Haunted Mansion didn't start. Uh, my own design of the Castle on the Hill from Ever Scissorhands also didn't start, mostly because I haven't um, addressed the fabric yet. Uh, the fabric that I dyed for it, I showed in a formal floss tube and it ended up being really similar to another fabric um, that I'm using for Sleepy Hollow. And I just like a little diversity, so I'm still trying to decide what I wanna re-dye for that one. No pressure, no timeline. I'm having fun experimenting with the dyeing stuff, which is what I will show you uh, now, I guess, since this has no order whatsoever. So for November, um, Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery, and I believe maybe another floss tuber, we're talking about doing a hashtag, uh, and that was Black Sampler November. And of course, who can say no to a little start along, stitch along with Jacob. So uh, everybody kind of picked what they thought fit as like a black um, or a sampler that you would stitch in black on your favorite fabric. So a lot of people released um, designs for it. Uh, some people had stuff stored up. So I picked something from uh, a store, an Etsy shop that I have already purchased patterns from but hadn't started them I just I had this one's I had this one saved so this is from two by two stitch art on Etsy um, it doesn't really have a name I kind of call it the bird sampler which is very broad um, but what I did was I I dyed my own fabric because I've just been having fun doing that and I ended up with so this is um this this was 14 count Ada, so now it's you know probably like 15 count maybe and I'll show you that, 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 where are we at this is the back okay I'll just show you the kind of the vibe <laughs> that I dyed before I show you the work so this was done just in just with tan um, you know for like a half hour using the low immersion technique um, and then I uh, I microwave it to set it because that's something I saw on the Rit Dye uh, website to try to do. And then I let it dry. It took almost like two days to dry. It actually took a while. And then I ironed it uh, as best I could. And yeah, so what I started was up here. Um, that's the work that I got done. I did this is about a week's worth of work for Black Sampler November on what we'll call bird sampler um it has a companion piece in the shop that i already had in my wish list so i would like to do both I, what i should have done and they won't both fit on here this one will fit probably to about there and then i'll have <laughs> some wiggle some wiggle room to do some other stuff with the rest of the fabric but uh yeah so it's about a about a week um, not every night, not for very long. Um, we, uh, rah, rah, rah. uh, I, I, yeah. So <laughs> let's gather my thoughts. Okay. So last video I had said that I may not be getting a lot of stitching done this month because it's November, which is national novel writing month. And I had uh, tasked myself with trying to uh, finish writing a murder mystery novel that I started last year. And um, a lot of stuff's been going on. We went on our mini vacation, which I'll tell you all about. Um, 
had had uh, had some uh, friend gatherings, game nights, just uh, just stuff, just you know, life, which is fine. And so uh, the cross stitching slows down a little bit. The writing even slowed down a little bit. Um, but uh, I did find out that I was a fine. I'm a finalist in a writing contest, so that's kind of cool. Uh, of this um, or for this book that I started writing. So that's a good impetus to, <laughs> to maybe finish writing it or finish working on it. So lots of stuff. Um, it's all very exciting, uh, but I have uh, pretty, pretty untamed ADHD, which um, I'm working on, working on a lot of stuff. Lots of self-improvement going on in the background here, guys. <laughs> so yeah, so that's probably why the floss tubes ended up being more like once a month rather than every week because that's just how if you have ADHD uh, you know that there it's like this when it comes to hobbies and hyper focus and stuff like that um, some people talk about like losing the stitchy bug or picking up like a knitting bug or all the different things uh, it's gall related so that's fine anyway I did stick to a plan that I had for November and that was to get back to uh, working on the Modern Folk Embroidery 2021 Stitch Along Fruit of Plenty or Fruits of Plenty. None of us can remember what it's titled and I guess none of us go and look it up uh, because we just believe the Mandela effect. So some of us are living in Fruits of Plenty and some of us are living in Fruit of Plenty. Some of us are living in both. But I did pick that up. Um, which I put down in March and never picked up again, I guess. So if you, are, you know, <laughs> if you were like many of us, uh, you started the stitch along uh, at the beginning of the year, got distracted. Some people actually have um, stayed, stayed right up. It's beautiful. Um, I follow the hashtag on Instagram and these things are gorgeous. And I, every time I see them, I lament that I didn't keep working on mine, but here we are anyway. So, uh, I am still working on March's piece. It is not done. Uh, I'll keep working on this a little bit. I've been flopping between this one and one other project that I'll show you next. Um, but here we are. Uh, so this is Fruit of Plenty, the March medallion. Um, this is on a 16 count chocolate raspberry in 3771 and 3776. DMC. Um, absolutely love the fabric, love the colorway, love this project. Um, you know, it's, it's so gorgeous. If I, if I'd stayed up with it, I would have entered this into like a state fair, you know, all sorts of stuff. But, uh, right now I'm just kind of working on enjoying what I'm stitching. Um, not rushing, not putting myself on so many deadlines. Um, there's a, ba there's a balance there and I don't know what it is yet, but I'm working on it. So it's been nice to pick this up, kind of stitch at it, poke at it. Um, especially like with these like, um, mono and duochrome, duochrome pieces, like not having to switch the f like floss all the time is really nice because you can just kind of go, you know, you just get into it. Like I did, you know, a whole bunch of this you know, while we were hanging out, uh, we started listening to an audiobook um, recording of The Hobbit, just because, by Andy, what his name is, the guy who plays Gollum. Um, he did a, does a fantastic reading of The Hobbit. So uh, we've listened to that, stitching away. If I'm not, I've also been watching um, How to Get Away with Murder. Just been binging that. Um, that sometimes takes away from stitching time because I'm just like watching the murder unfold. Uh, yeah, so, uh, cool. So, today's word is brought to you by, so. Another thing I started, and this was also planned, is um, during our trip, our mini vacation that we took to Fairhope, Foley, and Gulf Shores, Alabama. We had gone there with the intent to visit 
um, creative needle arts, creative arts needle. It's a new needle workshop over there that a lot of the folks in the Sunshine State Stitchers Facebook group had recommended going to. So we kind of built our mini vacay getaway around visiting that and kidding up uh, for this. So we kitted up um, for Mr. and Mrs. Delicious by Lindy Stitches with the intention of starting to work on these um, this month, you know, kind of in the Thanksgiving way. So uh, my husband did Mr. Delicious and I'm working on Mrs. Delicious. You will notice I say did because he just finished Mr. Delicious. I was waiting for him to finish before starting to film this. Um, so we got all of the called for colors except for what the shop didn't have. And I have a post-it note in the back here of what we subbed. Uh, it had the called for color was willow. We have substitute for daffodil. Uh, cloves we had to substitute for persimmon. Uh, AKA like they were out of clove. We picked up persimmon and then they didn't have onyx. So we got gunmetal. Uh, so really just eyeballing it. So I'll show you me. So Mrs. Delicious. She's, she's getting there. Um, she's got her little bonnet. She's got her little waddle. She doesn't have a beak or an eye yet or legs. <laughs> this is done on a 16 count Icelandic blue. 16 count. I gotta make sure I've got the thing right here. Yeah. Um, when we went to the shop, the actual shop owner was not there. Um, so we kind of let ourselves go a little nuts with the poor, poor associate who was there who, um, you know, we were picking up stuff that wasn't barcoded yet, but I was like, well, it looks like this, but it's kind of like this. So, so she was able to sell it to us after getting the uh, shop owner on the phone. But, uh, so it's just a, it's an Icelandic blue. Um, we were trying to find something similar to, you know, that kind of grayish blue and this was just what was there we both we both agreed it was fine uh for what we we're working on uh yeah so that's my progress on it and i'll keep working on her probably you know this week um as i try to decide like well try, try to remember what i'm doing this week no idea no idea that's okay so yeah so those are all the whips and the starts and here's the fully finished or the, the finished object. It's not fully finished. We're, we're thinking about doing flat finishes for these, but we're not there yet, but this is the finished Mr. Delicious. <laughs> um, so, uh, like I said, we had to sub a couple colors, um, but it looks still about the same. The only changes we made were um my husband flipped this border because in the uh pattern it's the same as this it's not mirrored so he flipped it to mirror it which i'll probably do on mine and he had to extend the back stitch by one on the spider so it touched this little chevron up here because it's one off um and i think that was it apart from the color changes i'm trying to see if we can even get in there um, so a very fancy boy with a little top hat, a little spider friend and a crow friend. So we will, um, probably, yeah, we're probably gonna try our hand at, uh, flat finishes. I asked him if he wanted to do, um, any Rick Rack or Lady Dots kind of stuff. And so that, that will remain to be seen if, how fancy we want to make them, um, but yeah, so he got it finished because he's much more, much less um, ADHD inclined than I am. So that's fine. We're all having a good time around here, right? Um, so when we were on vacation, we also, um, like I said, we acquired the stuff for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Delicious from uh, Creative Needle Arts. Gulf Shores, Alabama. I'll make sure the correct name is down below and down below. We also visited a yarn shop um, 
called Southern Twist Yarn. I also have the right name here and down below. Swiss Cheese Brain. Um, and I have, for the, for the knitters, for the knitters among you, I am not the knitter among you, but I am married to one and I support you. I'm here to show the haul from Southern Twist Yarn. Um, uh, per, uh, pardon my pronunciation of things, but this is Noro Kakigori 07. Um, It is kind of this really dark blue with another twisted strand with yellow, green, teal, purple. I'm trying to see if I can tell you guys the, like the type it is. Uh, like fingering weight or whatever. Um, I don't know, but this has a fun little tag to it. It says that Kakigori is a Japanese shaved ice dessert. Um, I don't know. I think it's 200 grams. It's a, it's cotton, silk, and a little viscose and polyamide. So, but mostly cotton and silk. Um, yeah, so nice and squishy. That's <laughs> how so I can describe it to you. you know, all the knitters watching are like, oh my god, like what is she talking about? <laughs> I'll need to get his, his whips for next time. He's been working on a couple shawls and other knitting projects, but we're just showing the haul now. Um, this is um, by Hot Springs Fiber Company. And it's a Magic Merino DK weight. And this is called Spiced Cranberry. This is very lovely. Um, super soft and yummy. Because Merino wool just is. So nice, nice hank of that. That I got there. I can't remember if we... I think we did decide this is going to be on some... I don't know. He's got different projects he wants to work on. So... I think some of these are for a sweater, maybe. And then, what else do we got in here? We have by Ilamani Yarn. This is 45% um, fine merino and 25% baby alpaca, 15% yak, and 15% silk in the colorway burgundy so uh this doesn't have any any variegation to it or anything really not that i can see but um it's a little redder than it's showing up on camera but also also very nice so he got a couple hanks of that and then several hanks of this also by um, Ilamani, and this is 100% Royal Alpaca in the colorway Ginger, which is not what I would call Ginger, but, um, and it's showing up on the camera much more orange than it is. It is not that orange. Why is it, why is it doing that? Why? It, yeah, it's not this orange. It is uh, much redder in person. Uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to think if we had guesstimated that all of these were going to go in one sweater together. I think that's what we were talking about. Like doing color work in this and then maybe the body in this and like cuffs in this maybe. That's why they all kind of play together. Um, that one's still showing up super orange and it's not that orange. But yeah, so that was some of the fun haul that we had. Um, we talk about Christmas plans, I guess, or upcoming plans. Um, so for the rest of the month, I'll probably work on Mrs. Delicious and 
uh, Fruits of Plenty. Excuse me. I don't think I'm going to go back and work on any Halloween stuff. I do have... I have Christmas stuff. I literally had to rewatch my own floss tube because of the Swiss cheese brain. And I don't remember what I've talked about already. I remember that I got that small um, pendant kit of the Cardinal, um, which is a Christmas project. I have the pattern for, um, I believe it's a, it's a, is it a Barbara Anna? It's, it's a, it's a snail. <laughs> it's a Christmas snail. I can't remember. I will put a picture of it here. It's a Christmas snail. Um, I have the fabric for that, but I don't have the floss, I believe. Um, and then because the internet is a dirty, dangerous place, uh, a saw across my dash, um, appeared by, come on brain, give it to me. Nope. Um, I'll, I'll list it here, the designer, but it's called Tudor Ur Ermine. Tudor Ermine. And I fell in love, of course. <laughs> of course. Who wouldn't with this? Um, you didn't even see my finger. No, there we go. Okay, so I immediately ordered it. Even though, <laughs> why? Because if you recall, for Christmas, I do have my oldest whip, to my knowledge, it is a, a, a Design Works 12 Days of Christmas. Um, I worked on it a little bit in July. And he'll come back out, probably. Um, but I had had uh, that Christmas snail I wanted to do. Had that cardinal. Now I have this. Now I have Tudor Ermine coming. And Cora's back. And I think I have a, I have a Blackbird design that's kind of Christmassy. It, well, it's wintry. It's it's a like a blackbird. It's like a, a blueberries and a house and maybe some fir trees that I bought um, kind of in memor memorandum. Look at her. Just goodness. And then the other one's in front of me and they're kind of like mirroring each other. Anyway, so I ha have a lot of options. Who among us doesn't? And people are starting to put out their Christmas stitch alongs and announcing their new series and I'm just losing my mind because there's another one that popped up that was cottage samplers cottage cottage something or other starting a new series um, a year in the woods absolutely in love with part one right here with this fox I can't it it I haven't yet fallen to temptation to buy this one yet. But yeah. And then uh, DMC, they have free patterns. Just in case you didn't know, the DMC website has a ton of free patterns and they release them all the time. They just put out a cute little advent calendar that's a free download. So I downloaded that to stitch like a little tiny thing every day. And then someone else uh, in a group I'm in was like, who's doing stitch alongs? And there was like, uh, Stitchology, I believe has one. Stitchology, maybe. Check here. <laughs> For, see, I'm a historian, which means even if I can't remember, I will still give you the citations. You will have <laughs> the footnotes because I can't, I can't, I can't remember nothing. Especially when I don't write anything down. If I would just write it down, yeah, but it's fine. So I, the, I, I don't even know what that one looks like, but I still signed up for it. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. What I want to do is, um, you know, definitely I can start that bird if I want, the cardinal banner. I can work on Santa. I can kid up the snail um Tudor Ermine is not here yet I think they're shipping out at the end of November from shops I ordered mine from um 
Annabella shop, which is another Florida shop. I've been trying to uh, kind of spread the wealth, spread the funds. I've been trying to buy from different shops. I mean, yes, we support our local needle workshop. Um, my husband and I will go in there and we will do like a big run. Um, but I'm also trying to like hit the little, the little shops, the little Etsy shops, uh, to make sure we're all supporting each other where we can. Um, speaking of Etsy shops, if you got this far, um, I do have an Etsy shop. I tend to design historic architecture or things that float my boat apparently, like little ghosties in a pumpkin patch. Uh, I also design t-shirts. Um, mostly because I, I mean, I love graphic design. It's something I've loved since high school. And last year I opened up a t-shirt, an online t-shirt shop. And, um, I was starting to post some of these shirts, um, on that shop, but I realized that's kind of like cross branding. Like you guys don't know the name of that shop. When I post it in my shop, people don't know what it is. So you guys know Tally Stitcher, <laughs> you know this. So I went ahead and I loaded, cross pollinated, the shirts uh, that I've been showing on my Instagram. If you follow me, um, I'm at Lydia E. Malone on Instagram. I loaded those shirts in there. Uh, that way you, you can just go to Tally Stitcher Designs on Etsy and you don't have to fuss with the other uh, sh platform, the other shirt, <laughs> the other shirt site, uh, unless you want to see that one. Uh, that one I do more like holiday shirts. So like Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, just kind of funny stuff that I like that makes me smile. Everything I try to do creatively is to make myself smile. Um, yeah, so I put those shirts in the shop. Um, hopefully the next time I see you, I'll be wearing one of them. Um, of the cross stitch one in particular. I've, I've, pro I've probably worn one of the other ones I've designed before. I just don't tend to point it out, but you'll see stuff like this, which I will say now is going to be uh, queen of unfinished projects, <laughs> which also comes in king and sovereign. Uh, but we've got some of those in there. I've got um, what I call the royalty of uh, floss tube in this offering, <laughs> which makes me chuckle because we all have our favorites and you know, the list would be a mile long if we put everybody on there. Um, so that was just the people maybe that I watch most often or that I know we all have kind of in our um, rotations. Uh, there's different generations stitch different um, designers I've noticed. It's really interesting. I was having a conversation with a former coworker of mine yesterday. We met up for coffee and I was trying to explain floss tube to her and like the community part. And I've talked to you guys about it before, but the co-creation that we do is really interesting because one person designs something, another person might be dyeing the fabric, another person has dyed the floss, and then the person who stitches it has brought these all together. And then they still make changes because they might leave motifs out or make blunders, but it's fine, or decide to flip a border or leave a border out or take just, you know, all these different things. And I was explaining how it's kind of like, you know, um, like a little bit of like concept art where you're given an instruction to create something but the beauty of concept art is that it's going to be different no matter who does it. Anyway, so I was like, she was, you know, as jazzed as one can be listening to a nerd, nerd about something they don't do, but it's fine. She's very supportive of all of our creative endeavors. So yeah, um, this video is actually getting to be like a decent, uh, length now. So I think I've covered everything. I'm not going to make any promises on the next time you will see me like in terms of like a time frame, you will see a whip parade at some point in December. And I know we are all getting them ready. Um, I've been trying to keep my 
uh, whip spreadsheet up to date so I can have that on hand when I do the parade to give more information about stuff because I know sometimes I don't tell the side of the fabric count or the color or I got it from or when I started it um it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool so yeah um maybe also I'll have another design by then um I kind of slowed down with those because over the summer I had we were moving I had a job change all this all the stuff that keeps you from doing all the fun things right but we're still doing fun things I'm still having fun um, learning to be okay with not having a ton of progress and being okay with um, you know updating once a month if that's what happens uh, I do update a little bit more frequently on Instagram if you want to follow me there um, please like and subscribe if you want to be notified um, when I have a new video there's a little bell thingy I don't really have a thing for a bell so I'll just put a picture of a bell here uh, yeah so thanks again for watching and joining me um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this edited and probably post it to uh, YouTube to premiere tomorrow because it's getting late <laughs> I should already be winding down for bed but I wanted to show you guys so thanks again and uh, I will see you when I see you so have fun sneak creativity into little corners of your life every day and have some fun stitching bye now well just another bowl of butter beans or pan